Hi everybody, it's Michelle Olson at Greenlight Coaching. And today I wanna to talk to you about the idea of trusting the mystery during career transition. So much of career transition is about the unknown. It's not knowing where uh, you're going to end up. And I wanna be really clear about something. When I'm working with individuals, I'm working with them in career transition toward purpose work. Not just changing a job within the same industry, but actually having a career transition that leads them to work that has them feeling more meaning, more purpose, more satisfaction. And so that's a big change to make, especially if you've been in your career 10 to 15 years, you're switching your whole life, um, your whole uh, belief system. And so if you think about it as a metaphorical hallway, often when we're in career transition, we're in the hallway and there's a lot of doors around us, but we don't know what door we're gonna end in. We don't know what the actual destination is gonna be for some time. And that can cause anxiety. Where am I gonna end up? I know I want something different. The calling is deep. The calling is there. Uh, the evolutional desire is there, but the actual knowing it's a while before you get there. And so um, it's important to have a tool in your pocket around transition, because transition happens a lot in life. It's not just a one-time deal. And so when you're in transition towards purpose work, you wanna be able to um, have a system, a process where you can sit with the unknown. And so here are some ideas I have. It's allowing yourself to let the moment capture you. It's allowing yourself to be in the moment and enjoy it to the best of your ability. It's allowing nature to come in and um, seduce you in a way of feeling alive and excited. It's allowing yourself to look at the evidence of your life of where there's been transitions in the past and you've made them and successfully made them and often thought to yourself, oh my gosh, that's better than I ever thought possible. It's also about thinking, where are there synchronicities in life? Where is something greater than myself, a higher power, whatever you want to call it, coming in and intervening, you know, having me connect with a random person at a social event or having me connect with someone at the pool or having me connect when I'm out and about and going, wow, that person's doing work I want to know more about or wow, that person has a lead for someone for me to talk to. So starting to look at those synchronicities. And if you can't remember then them writing them down, having a system in place so that when you forget, if your inner critic comes in, that you're able to sit down and go, yes, that is, that is the mystery. That is coming into my life. Um, I want my clients to put a balance of attention between the tangibles and intangibles in career transition. So not just focusing on what you're doing, but actually focusing on how you're being through the process. I'm a firm advocate that the process bring as much joy, ease, and grace as the end result. And it's possible with just some attention, with just allowing yourself to slow down and notice the being. Here's the truth that I've seen. Being provides the inspiration to come through. Being provides the muse of ideas to come through. When we're too busy, 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 doing, 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 we don't allow the space to have new ideas to come through. And if nothing changes, nothing changes. And so allowing yourself the idea, um, not the idea, the practice of being, allowing yourself um, the the practice of trusting that there's something greater than yourself up for your better good, that the universe actually wants to answer your desires, that the universe actually wants to have you get to that purpose work because you're part of a greater whole. So one quick tool I'll name is I have clients often create an altar. You can call it your purpose work altar, your career altar. And here's my direction with it. Instead of focusing on your left brain when you do it, I want you to focus on your right brain and bring objects that you find in your home or outside without reason. It has to come from intuition, not from your head. Oh wow, I'm drawn to this object. Oh wow, I'm drawn to this piece of art to put on there. Oh wow, I'm drawn to this 
stone that I found out by the beach or by a body of water and just keep putting at it putting that on your altar because you want the altar when you look at it to be a sense of inspiration. You want the altar to keep reminding you of this calling that you have deep within to do the purpose work in life. So I hope this was helpful today. Um, I love hearing from you. Please comment below or send me an email and let me know how is trusting the mystery showing up in your life? How are you tracking it? What um, interesting beautiful magical moments are happening that are allowing you to keep moving forward into this big transition of change towards purpose work all right have a great day everybody more soon